I'm really sad. See, Minecraft held a mob vote recently so the community could decide which mob would be added to the game in an upcoming update. And my favorite mob, the Copper Golem, unfortunately did not win. So I spent three whole days mining for copper and building a giant statue to immortalize the copper golem in Minecraft forever. By the way, we're getting really close to 4 million subscribers. So if you do enjoy my videos, please consider subscribing. It's free and it'll only take you two seconds to help reach this goal. Anyway, enjoy the video. Let's start off today's journey by coming over here. Let's grab a couple of these shulker boxes that I made in the last episode. And hang on, I I've got an idea, I've got an idea. And now these shulker boxes are our copper boxes. And today's episode is going to be very focused on copper. So let's go right ahead and find some new chunks so we can get mining. Do we have, oh yeah, this, this is some new chunks if I've ever seen it. We got the dripstone, we got the glow licking, and now all we need is the copper. But of course it couldn't be that easy. Let, let's relax. Let's relax. I just, I, I came down here to chill, mine some copper. Instead, I'm just getting absolutely swarmed by endless mobs. Mining really is so pointless in this world at this point. Like I look around, I see coal. Oh, I've got a farm for that. Iron. I've got a farm for that. I mean, even gold. I've got a farm for that as well. So like, why, why am I even down here? The only thing of use for me down here is copper. The stupid building block. It doesn't even do anything. Ooh, we got some shiny purple stuff. These blocks are so satisfying, man. Oh, you gotta love those noises. Why am I even dig- I don't even need this. Why am I doing this? By the way, for every episode of Hardcore Minecraft, I plant another 200 melons to this melon farm. So if you want to see this melon farm slowly consume my entire world, make sure to subscribe. And then I just started mining for copper and I was going to need a lot of copper. You bitch. So far, we've already managed to collect over a stack of copper blocks. The issue is though, I don't even know how much copper I'm, I need. I don't even have a plan at this point. I'm just here to, to mine. Oh. Oh, hey, look, Lapis. Uh, let's let's do that that one that one trick where you go like four blocks across and a few down. No, I, I I did it wrong. Okay, wait, I got my directions mixed up. It, it it's this way. Oh, told you diamonds, but that's honestly no fun. I, I don't need those diamonds. You guys get the idea. I spent the rest of the day in the caves just mining for copper, and nothing really that exciting happened. Oh, another god apple. For my collection and then i came back the next day and i did the exact same thing another quick update on wadzi's adventures into the caves i've found something really cool i've actually never found this in minecraft before but i found a fossil hang on hang on someone someone take this and make a tiktok out of this oh my god no way 0.0001 percent chance all right that's a million views easy no but i'm actually so curious i want to dig this thing out i want to see like what, what shape have we got here? It just keeps going. There's bones everywhere. Oh my God. Is this more than one fossil? How is this? All right, I found my new career now. I'm, I'm an archaeologist now. This has got to be the biggest fossil in Minecraft history. This is actually the first fossil I've ever found in Minecraft. I didn't know they were this huge. It's crazy. Anyway, that was a fun waste of time. Time to go mine some more copper. Oh, and I should probably mention over the last couple of days, I managed to fill an entire shulker box with raw copper blocks, but I wasn't going to stop just yet. But does anyone else find it like kind of annoying that the only purpose in the game for copper right now is to use it as a building block. And it's a very expensive building block at that. They added an entire new ore to the game and all you can do with it is is build. Like sure, you can make a lightning rod or you could make, well, a telescope, but that's, that's kind of ridiculous. Like no other ore in the game, its primary use is meant to be for building. And that's why when I saw the copper golem, I thought it was just a great addition to the game because my biggest criticism of the update, why add copper? if it's gonna be so useless. And the copper golem just made sense. Like such an easy thing to add to make copper more useful. Like I wonder what they're gonna add 
to it now, if anything. Like, sure, all the mobs in the mob vote were, like, good. But, like, is it just me that kind of thinks that the LA is kind of an odd one out? Like, I don't really see how it fits in the game. Like, the glare, I kind of liked better than the LA, just because I could see it being a part of the game and spawning in the lush caves. And the copper golem just seemed like the next step for the game. I mean, they just added copper. Anyway, that's enough ranting. That's just my thoughts. I'm just going to go back to my my life of digging underground, trying to find copper. After two whole days of mining for copper, I had a lot of the stuff, but it wasn't the only block I was going to need for this build. So I started collecting some granite and then some acacia wood. And then upon returning home, I noticed something familiar. Okay, the bee thing may have happened again. Look, so I knew I was going to need a ton of honey for today's build to wax all the copper blocks so i've been breeding up my bees again and i think just these beehives must be cursed or something because I, I didn't have this many bees all right what if this time instead of waiting for them to all flee and like kill them off what if i built just a ton more beehives for them i mean let's see we got a hive yes okay well these guys are gonna pop in Oh boy, this is, this is a lot of bees. I bet what will end up happening now is now all the bees here will end up multiplying as well as all the ones back at home base. And my world is just going to be consumed entirely by a swarm of bees. Some quick thinking with the bees may have saved the day because this really helped me get all the honey I'd need for later on. And there were just a few more blocks I wanted to collect, so it was almost time for us to build our copper golem friend. Just one last step of smelting an entire shulker box's worth of copper blocks, which was going to take a while. But over an hour later, I'm excited to say it's time to start building. Finally, after two whole days of trying to collect these blocks, I have a full shulker box full of copper blocks, as well as a few additional blocks of raw copper, granite, terracotta. It's finally time for us to start this build. Okay, I think I'm going to be building this thing over here in this gap between our pyramid and our city. So I'm going to start off by building a bit of a floating platform here for us to build this copper golem on top of because I want to have it on a pedestal because, well, it, it's special to me. It deserves to be on a pedestal. So this statue is going to be pretty giant. So we also need this pedestal to be huge. Oh, this is kind of annoying, but I think I'm going to lower this platform quite a bit. So now that I've finally got this giant stone platform finished, it's time to mark out where I'm going to be building this golem. I'm actually thinking I'm going to do an entire dirt outline of the whole structure first. Since we never got an official model of the copper golem, I had to use some inspiration to figure out what shape the statue should be. So credit goes to this build I found on Google, which is a huge inspiration for today's build. However, I don't want to completely copy this, so I'm going to do my best to make mine different. So now you can see both the arms and legs are swinging. It's in a bit of a walking motion. And this way it should end up being a much more unique build. So I think our next step here is actually to start following this dirt guide that I've created. And I can just change these blocks out with some, some copper ones. But before we can really start building with the copper, there's one other thing I need to go grab. And this shulker here has the very important job of holding all of my honeycomb. Because although it could be cool to let the copper oxidize, I do want to keep this copper golem nice and orange. So I'm going to need to wax all the blocks. And yeah, I guess let's get started on properly building the copper golem. And let's just go around this foot here and just add the copper. And we'll just instantly wax it just so we don't miss any blocks on the way. All right, and there we go. Our copper golem now has one single copper leg. I mean, it, it looks all right, but there's definitely some detail we can add. I didn't gather enough copper to have the only building block in this build be copper. So we're going to have to replace it with some other blocks. So now what I'm going to do is uh, just do the other leg and do a similar thing. And then from there, we can pretty much just go body part by body part, just replacing it all with, with copper. Yeah, so far, so good. So 
I've now built one of my arms and I don't know I can't lie I'm a little I'm a little unsure about it but you know I'm just gonna commit because I'm sure it'll work out looking just fine I I'm gonna try my best to make it look good and here's where I'm gonna get a little experimental actually yeah all right I think that's definitely better actually yeah cool Then I got right back to mixing in some different blocks into the arm to make our copper golem more visually interesting and I feel it gives it more of a weathered look too. And from here things should get a lot more easier because we have no more motion to deal with. It's all just, you know, regular body, regular head. I mean, it's Minecraft so nothing's ever finalized. I can always try and change things if I'm not happy with it. Maybe I'm using too many of the other blocks but I'll, uh, I'll see how many copper blocks I have left at the end and maybe I'll try and mix some more back in. Alright, so yeah, we've only got this many copper blocks left. fortunate thing about the body is I get to put this interesting design in the front of it which will save us a lot of material. Alright, so that's the body so far and I think it's looking great. This is starting to come together. Obviously, that's only the front though. I I I'm yet to do the back. But now though, I'm just going to fill this in all with copper and then I'll do the typical thing going around trying to replace the blocks. One thing I need to decide is whether or not I have another design like this on the back of this thing, which I think I might do something just for one to break it up a little because otherwise it's just going to be a complete block of copper. All right, yeah, sweet. I think that makes a pretty decent back design. Now I just need to break this up with some more blocks and then we'll have the body done and all I'll have left to do will be the head. All right, let's not mess around. Let's get up here. And let's start building this head. So on the underside of this head, I'm going to start by actually building with blocks such as these terracotta and granite just to like darken up the underside of this build. All right, we also, we have to make a start on this nose as well. This build was really starting to come together, but I was excited because I knew that the head is really what would bring this thing to life. But then I ran into a pretty big issue and I had to start using a lot more granite than I thought. We've pretty much finished the head, but the issue is we're definitely going to run short on copper because I haven't filled in the top and that's going to take so many blocks to do. And this is all the copper I have left. Currently, two whole days of mining for copper is not enough to build a giant copper golem statue. I don't even know how much more of this to get, to be honest. <laughs> I have returned from mining for copper and I've brought back a lot more than I thought I would. So let's load up these furnaces and I'm excited to get back to finish off this build. With some more copper smelted, all that was left to do was fill in the top of the head, the top of the shoulders, and then I was just one lightning rod antenna away from having a copper golem statue in my world. And I think what could be really cool as a little secret easter egg of this build is if I put four lightning rods up here at the top of this antenna and then whenever there's lightning storms the top of this copper golem's head will be struck and I think that'll be really really cool but officially the copper golem is now done and this little dude looks sick and all that's left for this build is for me to fix up this little podium here And I couldn't ruin this build by having an ugly pedestal, so I made sure to put a good amount of effort into this too, and it turned out looking great. I added some orange details to fit the copper theme, and I even added some leaves around the edges too. Following this, I made sure to light up the whole top of the pedestal to keep the mobs away from my copper golem. And then, with the pedestal done, and the copper golem done, I'm happy to say, the build is complete. <laughs> Ooh. 
look at my little guy. Look, it's not the greatest build I've ever done, but I'm really happy with how this turned out. Now the memory of the copper golem can live on forever in my hardcore Minecraft world. I'm so sad this mob isn't getting added into the game. Thank you for joining me on today's journey to build a copper golem. If you enjoyed this video, or if you're also a fan of the copper golem, don't forget to subscribe. Cheers.